sharing the screen and uh, how they uh, desktop okay okay this is this one why is this going so slow it's because we, we only have well. 10 hours trying to make the visualizations and i got my my computer almost out of RAM <laughs> <laughs> because I was messing with the GeoJSONs and wait, let me just uh, this, I don't need it now. Uh, Spotify out. Let me free some memory because this will take forever. Now it is. Hi, how are you? Hey, what's up? Man? Okay. Uh, have you got it? No, you should... So while Man Manuel was is trying to um, uh, showcase the functionality, let me explain my point of confusion. Um, I think that Juan can explain that better than me because he's the one who made uh, the visualizations. I'm just putting the screen if he can correct me as, uh, what is this thing? Okay, so here's the thing. I see that you guys have amazing data and it's visualized, right? Like I am I want to embed this into the risk factors notebook. The problem that I have is that I have no clue how to like operate it. So for example, I see that there's average temperature, but what else is here like? Okay, right. Uh, if you go to the notebook I sent at the beginning, there is... We got it here on Colab. I'm sharing my screen already with everybody still, or, uh, or yeah, did I... We have to share again. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, now here I am. So for example, this is the first iframe that is the world scale. Mm -hmm. So here we just have uh, for each country, when you sorry, click... Manuel, uh, if you go up, please, in the notebook. Sure. Up, yeah. Up, up, up. Okay, there. Uh, can we reframe the at image to calculate it? Because I think the measures are. If you double click the image, that is like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me. Oh, hate this. Okay. Yeah, uh, Just remove height. Uh, I'm not sure why. Yeah, it will. Four hundred will be fine. Okay. I'll double with okay. Okay. Now uh, this. Now it, what the fuck did I just? <laughs> yeah. Hate with with why there is there are two no, widths. Just re, re, yeah, yeah, that's the way. We must remove one. Yeah, just remove it. I'm not sure. Now I got yeah. Okay, in this image, <clears throat> we can see uh, how the visualizations work. Okay, there are two two visualizations, one uh, on top of the other one. Uh, so. First, we can see the layers. There, there are some buttons that we can click and uh, visualize or hide the layers. At the same uh, time, in the position is the legend of the layer we are displaying. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, when we start navigating in, over the countries so, and all the data that's on top of the geographic map. Uh, there are two kinds of problems. One that is just hovering over the information. You pass the mouse and you see information. And another kind of pop-up, a second one, that will be when you click on, on, on the information. Okay, at the same time, we have data widget uh, on, on the right. Now it displays information depending of the date that we filter. If we go down, please, or not? You can filter mm -hmm. with this. Down? Yeah, that's probably the okay. only thing. Okay. Like yeah. another yeah. image, the, the, what they call the date picker. In there, we can select one of the dates, whichever date we want, and the data that is displayed will change in correlation to uh, the date, because we have a lot of information that uh, depends on, on the date we are selected. And that's it. Yeah, and yeah, for example, the on, on the world data, let's just yeah. let me. For example, if, if I'm hovering over United States and I click, 
it shows me the population and the deaths. But if I put the active, then it shows me, oh. Uh, the idea is that you must, uh, as I put there with a note, do not select more than one layer at the same time because they will overlap. There are some cases that is interesting that I have in other visualizations, I have grouped them with A, B, C, but in, in, in the particular case that we are in this image, uh, there's just one group. So we must select only one, one layer at the same time. Okay, here we can select, for example, the cases. So we can... Okay, so um, here's a question. The only thing that, okay, so there are two concepts, the date, date picker, which is super easy to understand and click through, and I get it. There is a concept of layers, which I also get, and I'm under, I understand why one layer is required. Can you uh, share your screen with the climate um, visualization and show me your um, kind of like, go through all the possible clicking like options and like show here. me yeah, what yeah. it does. Uh, well, do it manual but, or, or Yeah, do it? no, but let me do just one thing that I will go to the original source because here the frame is messing okay, a little with me. Yeah, if that was, was one question I was going, uh, that we may ask for the team. Uh, if you see there, we have like a fixed uh, width and Okay, now it's okay. the card I'm but, used to. And we finished one thing before, Emmanuel, if you go be, uh, to the notebook, please. Sure. Okay, here we have a, a fixed width and a fixed height, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if there is a way of doing uh, a responsive uh, sizes here. Uh, to, to insert a web page that is responsive depending on the size of the screen. We can ask or in general, maybe somebody has done that before. I don't know how to do it. Okay. Oh, we can write yeah, it. So I, I tried to search about that, but it was like coding with CCS that I didn't yeah. know. So I yeah. prefer to pass. Yeah, and we can try to do that with CSS, but I would prefer not to just because we only have like nine hours left. Yeah. All right, so okay. let's go back so to. Let's go to the material. So here we have different layers. That will be the minimum temperature, the maximum relative humidity, pressure, and the regions. Now is the average temperature, right? Uh -huh. And these are the name of the regions that has the cases now. Ah, okay, so this is the number of cases <coughs> in each region. If you go, uh, if you zoom in, it will be easier to understand. It's, it's okay. a nice exercise, this one, like of user experience. That you okay. <laughs> Sorry for my computer because I'm now. Okay. So yeah, for one region we have the data related relative to the COVID cases, and also what is printed on the map. The little points are the average temperature on each. That is the layer of temperature that we you can choose to put to pick the minimum. But now will be like messed up. Now yeah, this is the minimum minimum okay. temperature. So we can pick each point. So you can have like a display of all the data, all the climate data we have. If you close yes. the window of the cases, yes, on top of. Okay, you can click whatever station you want. And have the full. So we ha so when you click on one point, you have the information relative to all the layers. But what 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 you pick here is only what is displayed on the map. Am I right? Exactly, yeah. Perfect. Well, that should, should be said by Arthur, but I mean, it makes quite sense. Okay, and so let me ask uh, a question. So basically, uh, this visualization shows correlation between the data on cases and the climate data, right? Like the one-to-one -one relationship. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. The concept of the five visualization is to always have the cases and uh, overlay the data we have from geo, geo data. I mean, in the first case, with the first visualization would be the whole world. The second one is the zoom to Italy, just the cases again. Mm -hmm. We move to the third visualization that will be with, uh, I think it's this one, if, uh, with uh, climate. 
have then climate, have the mobility. And one more that I'm forgetting right now. No, it was demographics. mobility. Demo demographics was here. Yeah. Demographics. Was. Let me let me just open it. Okay, so let me con continue my question. So we yes. have the one-to-one -one relationship between the cases data and um, you know whether climate or demographics or any other uh, type of um, data. What we can control in this visualization is the set of parameters for each of these like big groups. Like climate has temperature, has pressure, humidity, and other pieces. When we click and when we select that layer, we see those uh, data points visualized and color coded um, the, uh, in relation to the averages, right? Can, can you go back to the, uh, the climate one, please? Yes. So now the temperature is selected. So right now we're seeing the correlation of the number of cases to the temperature parameter of the climate uh, group. And what we're seeing visualized is the color-coded um, data points in relation uh, to the average, right? In this case, minimum, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this case, the minimum temperature, because there is also the, as Manuel has last said, there is a layer that will be average temperature, another one relative humidity, pressure, is, is the, is the, yeah, well, in a, in a way, is the average value of the whole day. Uh, is the for, for that point. Also, yeah. the, each point, you see the distribution that is not uniform because each point corresponds to one municipality in Italy. So we yeah. just pick where, for the places that we got uh, our population centers. And how does the time series correlation, like, how the, the this is something that hasn't been worked on. In, in fact, if we wanted to provide a real a real correlation map, we get uh, we get short on time to do that. We should yes. have put not the total amount of cases, but the amount of cases reported that day. And maybe we should have uh, pick maybe an, a, a time frame of seven to ten day, days prior, which is the estimated incubation time. Mm -hmm. So, so this will you, be really displaying the, the correlation, but it, right now it just shows both dimensions, but not able, you are okay. not able to do a proper. Perfect. That makes 100% sense. And I think that's something we can do for the submission number two. Uh, so for right now, just so everyone who watches this video, we have uh, the, act, the total number of cases, right, for the region. And we have the, the time series data for a specific day or a period yes right yeah, exactly okay. also right. uh if you just uh, comment uh right now we can uh, uh do a snapshot or a screenshots okay because this is a tool uh mm -hmm. okay, please, do not select range uh, range of periods of time just just with the tool as one uh, piece, okay? juan one question, if I give you uh, data with the same format, how much time will you need to remake the visualizations? <laughs> because I just see that if I pick all the days, look no, the okay. amount of cases. No, it's here, listen to me here one second. Uh, right now we can do that, okay? As you see there, there is a note where it's specified that you must only select one day. Ah, okay. 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 You, you pick. I didn't. Okay. 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 Then, 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 then it was no, no. I mean, but we should think uh, for round two <gasps> to have not the uh, accumulate of cases for each day, yeah. but the new cases reported that day. This way, when we select multiple dates, you can. It makes more sense because if not, we get the the sum of all the accumulates, which is recounting every time. Can I ask okay. you a question? Yeah. Can we disable yeah. the period picker? Sorry? To make it just a, sim a simpler data uh, date picker, like one, one date at a time. Because right now it's very confusing. You were saying, sorry? Go if ahead, we man. can, oh, yeah, if we can disable the date range picker 
to select a, a, a date of a range of dates and select just, uh, just a one because if we if we select any range uh, it will make no sense and even if we put a notice to the pe to people to don't do it people will do it yeah uh, I totally agree with that. Uh, it's something we I will develop for round two, but at this moment the limitations of the of the library uh, uh, don't permit that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that something is important to point out is that this is a tool, a tool for uh, working with it. What I mean with this is that uh, researchers or professionals that use this tool uh, could can do a snapshot of what the information they are mm -hmm. say, doing. So they will have the option of, okay, I do a snapshot of the uh, one of, of April, and then I do another snapshot of the 11th of April. So mm -hmm. they can compare information to, okay, if I have this temperature in here, how, how does this affect the results I have two weeks later? Yes. In the second round, I have in mind, and uh, there are some people that are start working on it to uh, complement this with dust and, and plotly. This will permit uh, filters that will relate the information that we visualize in the map with uh, graphs, uh, bar graphs, and, and line graphs uh, that will be displayed under the map. Okay. So. Yeah, when Oh, go, go ahead. Yeah, so um, so I get that part of we, we understand the date picker situation. What happens if you unselect temperature and select something um, something else on the list? Like what else is there? Like pressure. Oh, sorry. Just... Okay, we have the same, like uh, what is like minus 999? Uh, maybe it's because there are missing values. I think the NASA, NASA API uh, returns minus 999 when available is not present or not compute. Yeah, that's present in the last two days. If you move to another day, there are no 999 yeah. values. Okay, so basically the um, like the red stuff somewhere in the middle is still not like bad or like not high, right? Just because the, our minimum is... Uh, yeah, one one question is uh, Juan, uh, how ma how much time will you need with the same data provided to remake the visualization? Because I mean, the shifting the 999 for NAND, I think that Carto won't paint them, and will be less confusing. And also making the cases just per day is one uh, two lines of code. Making so, the cases just for day. Yeah, yeah, so like for example, so for so when you pick a range, you pick only the you have only the new cases in that day, not the total amount. Yeah, I think the first issue is quicker to fix was just nine 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 nine. Yeah, so that's, that's this is a fill and a, and and but the second one is yes is, is also a pandas uh, shift and minus the shifted one, so you got the difference yeah, for each day I, and, the, I, and the next one. I think I thought uh, days ago of of that option, but I considered that it was more confusing than this one because you will uh, you you will not have like a progression of what is happening the option yeah. of that we have to spend time thinking about what's the best way to show time series data in relation to the progress incubation period transmission and all of these different stages of disease so let's not try to to do that right now Okay, so perfect. Let's let's try to fix the 999. Uh, can you click on, on the, like those A? Like, what are the differences between A and Bs? Okay, if you go up in the, in the layer, you see the, the note, okay? You not see more than one layer from each group. Uh, so the idea is that each group is identified by the letter. So you pick one layer of group A, you pick one layer of group B, and you grip and you pick one layer of group C. And the because purpose if you pick more than one layer from each group, they will overlap. They will overlap. In the and those group. groups are types of data, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, all right. So I feel like I have everything for this climate one. Can we jump into the age one? Sure.
uh, let me just uh, demographic. I think there is this one. Yeah. Okay. This is a little more tricky. Here we have uh, two two different groups. The groups that we have as Mateo here are the genders. There is the uh, distribution between. Let me just. Why is not? Uh, Juan, no me está borrando. What? Uh, wait a minute. I think it's my. Okay. But I don't see the population, uh, the the selector for the ages. Up. It's up at the beginning of the. Uh, the Okay. Yeah, so that. you you can have uh, the the gender distribution for. If you want, I I explain it. Yeah, but. Okay. Yes. I don't know if it would be better that I show my screen because more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, do I share my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am, you see the Slack, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We were in demographics. Okay. Okay, demographics. Uh, so here we have uh, three groups. Okay. Uh, okay, population density. Okay, I need to put a C here. I will note that. Demographics. Okay. Also titles. I will incorporate titles in here, okay? So we have Corona Y, and later of the title, I will put the, the what we are seeing, okay? Mm -hmm. The demographics map. In here, we, we display there are two groups, ages and genders. A quick, quick suggestion. When you're going to be creating titles, uh, yeah. let's try to formulate them in a relationship way. So um, this visualization is attempt to show correlation between the number of uh, cases uh, to the climate uh, parameters or climate um, data. Okay. Okay, so I could put a title maybe and then an, a little explanation that goes yeah. with that. Okay, great. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so with the uh, hover information, if we click the points, this is the range of eight. Uh, the nine uh, points will add uh, the percent <coughs> of the population. And what are we seeing as a value is the percentage that is shown of in between zero and nine, okay. So mm, this I, is the I don't proper know. Yeah. Okay. We see yeah. the first. We have, we have nine categories. The range between zero and nine eggs, between ten and nineteen, between twenty and twenty-nine. Oh, these are distributions of age, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the value we display is the is the value is the percentage of 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 the total amount of the of the population of that region. Are so you this able to be, we change the, the names of these things? Sorry? Are you are you able to easily change the names, the titles of these things? Uh yeah. Okay, so I would propose for radio underscore age this something, changing it to um, age group uh, parentheses 2029 years old. Okay, that one okay. would be more, more quicker. Uh, that, Manuel, can we change that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we can. I, I was thinking not just. I was. I, was, I wanted to propose one change that is instead of using of putting the distribution, maybe it makes more sense to put the absolute value. Uh, I'm not sure about that because we, with here the idea is we have like in the legend we we see from zero to yeah 
that the, the, the minimum value and the maximum value in percentage. So in here we can very easily see, okay, where is the red? The red yeah, is this I think it makes sense. Like it is now, it's just very hard to understand because the titles, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So we can very easily identify, okay, where is the region with the population with uh, more older? That is like the a range of age very of, of to take care of no? with coronavirus. We, we, we can see here this one, a high number between 60 and 69 in here. Uh, so it's like a quick and easy yes. tool for identifying. Basically, the person should be, like if they're asking a query, what region has the highest uh, percentage of people of you know 70 plus years old they should look at this nine uh, cells and look for red at the bottom right exactly. yeah okay makes sense okay uh, uh, one, one, one question question uh, um, arthur can you please repeat the name that you wanted to put on the category uh i'm recording this video so i'll I'll send okay. you. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> the second thing, uh, can you go back into Zoom? Uh, Zoom view? Yeah, of course. Um, so once you click on the on the dot, can you click on? Okay, value. No, this, in this option, we don't click because there yeah, is no yeah, more. Just hover. Um, can yeah. you change the uh, value to have percent? So instead of the long uh, float, having the twelve percent. Sure. But we, we should change it to, if we want the same ball, we need a string, Manuel. Dime. See, if we, need, if we want the, 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 the percentage symbol, we need yes. uh, uh, to convert it to a string. But yeah, but again, I, can, I can pass it to you. I mean, if you just, ask, are you just putting the column that on my data frame uh, here? Uh, on, let me simplify it for you. So instead of putting the percentage uh, symbol, just make it uh, integer, so 12, and change value to percentage as a word. Does that work easier? Uh, it, it would not show, uh, okay, we can, it must be an integer, so we can have the, dis the display in colors and the bar, uh, but w what we can do is convert this to 0.124, Forty-one. One second. Can we change the? If I change the value column, because you are displaying the value column of the data frame I gave you, right? So and if if I change if I change the value column for value column ten per, uh, percentage sign, and uh, I multiply by one hundred the values, it should make the effect. Uh, yeah. The, the, but there is a type of data that is percentage. Or it will be a right? No, no, it will be a float. It will be a float with, for yeah. example, I can put one decimal. Or yeah, so yeah. it's still a float and there will be no 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 difference in the types from the data frame. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Um all right, so can you try and click the second demographic parameter? Yeah. Uh yeah. So we remove this one and we click genders. Uh, with the same graphic uh, code, we see two points. In this case, we see male ratio and female ratio. So okay. what this permits is identify where we have more female or male in each region. Okay, and yeah. what was confusing to me, so what is the, the, the average uh, bar on the left? The average bar. Okay, we have the minimum value and the maximum value. What this means is that the uh, percentage, the lower percentage we have in all the values is zero, is the 48%. And the finished percentage we have in all the values is the 52%. So now I'm looking at this graph and I, I should query, let's assume I'm a researcher and I query, what is the region was the highest um, amount uh, percentage of male population? How? Like, what is the visual cue? What we see in the in the visual, uh, practically with the graphical code, is that we uh, there is a predomination of uh, more female uh, gender in in healthy regions. 
And if we want to go to the precise data, we must make the over selection and see that, okay, for example, in this region that is Emilia Romagna, uh, we have uh, 0.51.37 of female and uh, 48.62 of uh, male. That makes sense, but what do the colors mean? The colors means that the average value is uh, white, that is 0 0.5, the 50%. So I, without hovering, for example, in these two points we were talking about, I know that this will be zero, uh, will be a 50% and this will be 52. If I want to the precise, the precise number, I will hover. But so just with the color code, I will know which value is. So, so the color coding is really a deviation from the mean. Uh, yeah, in a way, yes. So you have the 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 mean is the, exactly the middle, the the fifty percent, and if it goes to fifty two, we go from the deviation from the mean, the mean, and and blue will be to the other side. So the question that this graphic really answers is what are the regions of Italy that have the higher percentage of uh, you know, males or females in regards to average value in Italy, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, makes sense. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, can you click okay. the, the other one? Yeah, the, the other information we have in this, uh, well, we can also, uh, okay, active, we change between cases, active people, uh, recover, and death. Mm -hmm. Okay, as we, Manuel comment before, we can change the date and all the information we will uh, update. Also this one and, and the graphic one. And the last layer is population density. Okay, yeah. that is the color of its region. We hover its region and we will see the region we are on and the population density. I will add here maybe the values of area and, and total population that will help, will help to understand. Uh, 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 so can you explain number. what 376 means here? Yeah, that's the total amount, of, that's the number of uh, people by by unit of, of area. That they by square kilometer. By kilometer. Okay. By kilometer um, square, yeah. Is it yeah. possible to add that as a title? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is amazing. Like, honestly, like the, the thing is, it's very hard to understand <laughs> what these visualizations do, but once you, you do, it's amazing. So, yeah. No, it's a, a very nice exercise, this one, to the user experience uh, design. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take climate and demographics ones, and I think I'm going to take screenshots and basically list out the questions that you know people can um, ask and navigate to these uh, visualizations. If you guys can fix those uh, titles and names that we just discussed, that would be huge because that would immediately remove a lot of confusions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll show the last one is the mobility, the mobility one. Okay. Oh yeah. But with, uh, uh, this is like a more heavy visualization, so it's not a visualization for <laughs> changing every time of day, <laughs> but it works. So the only one. Users must be patient at this moment for round two will do a, a later visualization and what we can see here is the mobility from the uh, Google data, okay? Can you explain the relationship here? We're seeing the correlation between the cases and how actively people move? Exactly. We are seeing the correlation between, as you just said, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing the data in the same date. So as we commented before, it will be interesting of doing a snapshot of this date <coughs> so we can see the mobility. And okay, now see what happened with the with the cases so, uh, this a bit later. Yeah. And that will be uh, the next for round two, having the, at the same time the graphs and and 
the filter will work with the graphs and the map will be the perfect tool from my point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and here we have all the layers from uh, recreation, retail, grocery, pharmacy, parks, uh, transit, no, transit stations. <laughs> Can you explain what those uh, represent? How, like, uh, the relationship between number of cases and how, uh, how much people moved in certain types of places? Yeah, what we see here, we we can see in the legend we have the minimum value and the maximum value and an average value. The what middle are the values? Okay. The 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 zero value is like the when the when there was no coronavirus, the, the normal situation of, of how people the mobility of people. Okay. okay. That's how the the aggregated data that Google has released. Okay. So when we see a minus, or a, uh, what we are seeing is that minus 89% of the mobility has, is the, is the percentage of reduction yes. of the mobility. I mean, right now we are not in time to fix it, but this is the kind of chart that, that the, of information that will be better displayed on an accessory chart. So you select the region and you can see the time series of the charts of how everything uh, evolves. Because it, as a single data point, they make no sense. This is to showcase how the uh, lockdown measures have been implemented and have been yeah. followed by, by the people. Right now, uh, Kevin and, well, sorry, I remember the name, Siddhartha, Siddhartha. Siddhartha. Are working and, and are start working in round two, okay? Yeah. Makes sense. I, what, the idea we have is like with a dash and a, with Plotly and, and a dash uh, doing this kind of thing. This will is a prototype, but we will have more graphs at the same time visualized and having the buttons that will permit visualizing. Okay, here I have cases, active cases, and I have mobility. So I can very easily see both things at the same All right. time. All right. Uh, sounds great, guys. Amazing work. Just insane amount of crazy work that you've done i'll i'll get back to try and, and package it for the risk factors and yeah yeah also one question juan the carto id it's changed it changed when you update the map uh the cart, you mean the link yeah no it's, it's okay, so you, for example, Arthur can start embedding the charts on the notebook while yeah. we are working on updating the data. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, that is cool. All right, thank you guys. All okay, right. great. Thank you, Arthur.